Most people in America recognize a reporter, and today's reporters are doing a lot of the setup and the production and the editing and the publishing and the distributing themselves. In my work, I have multiple income streams. That's what I do. But people like you may not understand people like me. When I move myself through a community, I have the right to walk because some marvelous person from a state force took my vehicle that was actually licensed to my business. Under federal law, they did not have the right to do that. They openly should not have done that because the officer on duty made a decision that she wanted my property in that vehicle. So she decided to impound my business vehicle without permission from me. She told me what she was going to do. She didn't ask me if she could do it. And openly, as a right result, I shouldn't have had to pay anything for the holding of my vehicle for the reason that I didn't get permission and nothing had been done by me for my vehicle to be impounded by her. I know people are not familiar with many of our federal laws, but the reality is that in America, we have rights to protect ourselves. My vehicle was not being used in any way illegally or immorally, and therefore there was no right for her to take a bag from my vehicle that had my computer drives in it. We have officers of the law that are trained in theory to lie. The hard part that we're running into is how do we handle them? How do we fight against officers of the law that use their technology and use the lies of a community who are doing things wrong to harm people like me, who are currently and presently at this moment in time homeless and yet still working? My work is not a McDonald's hourly job and no offense to McDonald's because we need them, right? They give us a good break today, they provide us food for our day and openly they're kind to many people from many nations around the world. I'm impressed with the Japanese McDonald's because their french fries are better than ours because the laws with regard to the cooking of french fries are different. Am I making sense? Do you get the implication? The truth is that in life we have moments of time to be ourselves in every way and every human being in America has the right to earn a living. We have the right to life, we have the right to pursue happiness, we have the right to make an earnings. When we're making earnings, it's nobody else's business. How we earn, how much we earn, again, no one's business. But when you're a person who's sleeping basically under awnings because you don't really want to sleep in the pouring rain, is it really an offense to a police officer who works in the local community? Is it really an offense to a 20-year-old gay boy working in a office facility? I don't think so. What I think is we have a bunch of nosy people in America that don't mind that people are homeless as long as it's not them.